Today, three brain science hacks that'll help you shut down overconfidence. Hi, I'm Graham Newell. My speeches and webinars show you how to use the latest brain science insights to avoid costly mistakes. Click subscribe and the bell below to see more of my videos. Quick question for you, who first launched the wearable computer category? Did you guess Apple? What a lot of people don't remember is that Apple wasn't an innovator. In fact, it was quite late to the game. One of the most promising innovators was Nike and its fuel band. It was a pretty good first attempt, but the engineering still wasn't quite there. So what did Nike do? Continue to improve the product? Nope. They decided on retribution. When sales of the fuel band came up lacking, Nike had had enough. They fired almost everyone on the 50-person development team. Apple quickly snapped up Nike's newly unemployed innovators and put them to work. And now, a few years down the line, Apple Watch is dominant in the wearable space. Last year, the world spent $14 billion on Apple Watches. That's roughly half the value of the entire Nike Corporation. Why do so many smart leaders make things worse by playing the blame game? Part of the reason is a cognitive bias called optimism bias. Brain science tells us that most of us tend to overestimate our chances of success. And we get hit with a double whammy. Because we also tend to underestimate the power of outside forces. Our brain tends to downplay big forces like competitors, timing, and just plain old bad luck. Most of us like to believe we're firmly in control of our own destiny. And if we just work hard enough, if we just work smart enough, success is inevitable. And we tend to believe the same thing of our employees as well. The success porn of social media reinforces the illusion of complete control. Never accept defeat. If you fail, you just didn't try hard enough. But oftentimes, the smarts and determination of a great team simply can't overcome market conditions. Too often, leaders tacitly mandate that any failure will be greeted with punishment. The team quickly learns to avoid risk-taking and keep its head down. Nike's fuel band was simply a first-generation product. Nike gave up too soon. Instead of methodically upping their engineering game, it chose to make things worse. A scorched-earth blame game that annihilated its entire development process. If you'd like to learn about another cognitive bias that blinds us to our incompetence, I've got another video for you. Click on the link right here to see that video now. So how can you avoid the blame game and optimism bias? Here are three tactics. Number one, actively plan for a possible failure. A lot of the time, failure is only discussed after it's happened. People who even mention a possible failure are seen as pessimists trying to bring down the whole team. Before you begin development, identify all the internal and external factors that are most likely to stop you. You want to spot these forces early in your process, before you get overly invested in your plan. It's important that your team get comfortable talking about and planning for a possible defeat. Tactic number two, up the number of outside voices. Sequestered teams get so excited and proud of their new project that they start believing in their own invincibility. They tend to downplay outside forces. Actively search out smart people who have the courage to tell you, your baby's ugly. And tactic number three, remember that innovation is an ongoing process, not a destination. It's a verb, not a noun. Build room in your plan for setbacks and failures. Every innovator will be blindsided by unexpected setbacks and calamities. Build a plan that's resilient enough to allow you to lose a few battles, but still win the war. Right now, I'm working on another video on how cognitive biases tempt us to make bad choices. If you'd like to be alerted when that video is completed, just click on my face below to subscribe. And be sure to click that alert bell, too. And I've created tons more videos on how brain science can help you make smarter choices. Click on the box right here to see that full playlist now. I'm Graham Newell, and that's Better Decisions Through Brain Science.